Always consider them when you are putting your content together. You want to have people coming away from your video feeling like they got something from the video. Perfection is the enemy of progress. You truly know what you're talking about. Just talk from the heart. When you say story structure, it doesn't have to be anything crazy or complex. You want to give someone a reason to click. In this video, I've gathered a few friends and we're going to show you how to make better videos on YouTube. YouTube Simplify. For more videos that help you deliver your value through online video, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video because after we share some amazing tips from some very talented creators, Jeremy Vest is going to share his tips on how to make better thumbnails that are going to get people to actually watch these videos you're working so hard on. Hey Dan, thanks for letting me in your video, man. So yeah, for me personally, I really think that content creators need to always keep their viewers in mind because a lot of content creators, you know, will put up our cameras and we'll be walking around like this because, hey, you know, it's about me, it's my channel and all that. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to the people that are watching your videos. So always keep in mind, always keep in mind their time. Always keep in mind their intent in terms of what it is that they're watching your videos for. And just always consider them when you are putting your content together because without your viewers, you don't really have a YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Nick. Excellent tip. Now let's head over to Jevin Dovey and see what he has to share with us. Hey Dan, thanks for including me in this video. Guys, if we haven't met before, my name is Jevin Dovey. I do filmmaking tutorials, product reviews, and I have a passion for helping creators find success on YouTube. Right now, I'm actually traveling through the Azores, and so my tip when it comes to making better YouTube videos is to add value. You want to have people coming away from your video feeling like they got something from the video. You don't want them coming away feeling dissatisfied in any way. So if you do like how-to videos, if you do tutorials, you need to teach them something. You need to have value with the content that you're creating. Now, if you're doing vlogs, and I'm bringing this up because I'm shooting a vlog while I'm out here in the Azores, you need to have a reason that someone is going to watch your vlog. They're not just going to want to watch just any video about you going about your day. You need to give them a specific reason on why they might come to watch your video. So for example, the video that I'm creating out here, I wanted to create a video that shows what it's like exploring the Azores and giving just some travel tips if you were to come here and explore here yourself. You have to come up with some sort of value for every video that you're creating, and that's how you create better YouTube videos. Try not to over script yourself. Sometimes, if you've written down every single word, it can seem wooden, it can seem unauthentic, it can feel robotic. If you truly know what you're talking about, just talk from the heart. It feels more raw, it feels more genuine, it might make that connection with that subscriber and viewer. Or if you're worried and it's a long video, why not take a few bullet points down? That way you can hit every key core element without it feeling rambly and it kind of guides you along the way and you won't forget something that's important, but then it's also not as scripted and as wooden as writing out every single word. All right, so my tip has to do with improving over time. Each time you upload a video, I want you to watch that video and try to pick out one thing that you can improve for next time. It's much more important that you move forward rather than doing everything you can to make sure every single video is perfect. You're never gonna reach perfect. If you try, you're just going to prevent yourself from making content and progressing as a creator. And don't forget, this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free, and there's a link in the description below, or you can head over to trytubebuddy.today. Now let's head over to Jeff Barch. Thanks, Dan. Hey, it's Jeff Barch from Story Greenlight, and I will say something that I found incredibly important over my 20 years of editing television in Hollywood and now also as a YouTuber is the need to think in solid story structure. When you say story structure, it doesn't have to be anything crazy or complex. It can be something as simple as a character who wants something, overcomes conflict to get it, and experiences transformation as a result. And that framework right there applies to vlogging, to gaming, to tutorials, to DIY. It applies to everything. And here's why. Audiences want to see content that speaks to change because we all want to see change happen in our world and in our own lives. So when we as creators create content that speaks to change or creates change, that talks directly to a deeply held desire in the hearts and minds of our audience. And when you do that, your audience is far more likely to love your content and to love you. Now for that bonus Dan talked about, here is Jeremy Vest. What's going on everyone? My name's Jeremy Vest. 
And if you really want to grow your channel here in 2019, you want to focus in on custom thumbnails. Here are three of my favorite tips to grow your channel with custom thumbnails. The first is the three E's, eyes, excitement, and emotion. You really want to show a big face on your thumbnails when possible so that people could subconsciously connect to the person or the hero of that video's thumbnail. You want to use excitement and emotion as much as possible to give someone a reason to actually click on the thumbnail. The second is branding. If you have 10 thumbnails from your channel, you want to make sure that they look similar. You want to use the same text or topography. You want to use the same background color or logo. But if you look at those 10 thumbnails and they look like 10 different YouTube channels, how are people going to know to click on your videos versus someone else's and suggest it on the right hand side? And the third tip is to create intrigue. A lot of people use cheesy things like crazy YouTuber faces or arrows or circles. The truth is, it's not just an image, it's really something to tell a story. You want to give someone a reason to click. My favorite thumbnail of all time is Vsauce's This Is Not Yellow and It's Just A Yellow Box. The reason that thumbnail is so powerful is because, yes, it's just a yellow box, but the title is so intriguing because I'm looking at the yellow box, but it says I'm not. So make sure you build a reason to click. Don't tell the whole story. Give someone a reason with the power of the title and your thumbnail using things like arrows may be cheesy, but it really works. Thank you, Jeremy, for those tips and a special thank you to Nick, Jevin, Jeff, and Alan for sharing their tips to help all of us make better videos on YouTube. This video offered a bunch of great tips, but there's a ton more to learn here on the platform. Click on the playlist above so you can learn even more to help you make better content here on YouTube.